everyone. Welcome to I Heart Art. I am Turbil, also known as Doxa. And today we are going to be doing a self-portrait. I'm just going to show you some things that I've already set up. So this is some oil paper, A3 size, um, and I've just bordered it with some masking tape. Now you don't have to do that, but I just like to, to border it just to give it a nice clean look. And today we will be doing a bold background, so those clean lines will really help. And just to the right of that, I've got my reference photo, so don't pay too much attention to that. And on my table, I've got my supplies. So here are the paint brushes that I'll be using. I'll predominantly be using the yellow ones, um, but just to save time with cleaning, I might use some of these black ones. Um, I've got my oil paints, just Faber-Castell, and some backup oil paints as well. I've got some soapy water, and I have got some linseed oil, and this is just to help thin out my paint. And it's, you don't have to, but it's just a good idea to use linseed because with oil paints, it really helps it um, set. And it's nice and thick and it's a great mixer. And I've also just got some paper towels and an extra um, painting palette at the back. Uh, let's get straight into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is trace the outline of my image onto the A3 oil paper. I'm just gonna be using regular pencil is totally fine. I've got an eraser and a sharpener just in case. Um, now, I don't want the exact size as the A4, so what I'm going to do is make it slightly smaller, so that just means I'm going to be starting my, um, my stencil just a bit inward, so I'm just going to go from here, yeah, and when you're sketching, you sort of want to take your time because you want to make sure everything is nice and proportion. Um, now, though this is a photo of me, it's not going to be an exact copy. It's sort of a almost self-portrait, really. I'm just using the outline as a reference. I might change some features around. I might change my hair because it was looking a bit crazy in this photo. But yeah, so that's sort of the gist. Now, I always like to start from the bottom of my page and might be wondering why I hold my pencil like this. Um, because I'm using oil paints and because I'm not doing a sketch, I just like to use a light hand and I like to go back and forth rather than having a heavy hand and being super close to the canvas. It just helps you use a light hand, nice posture and just staying far back so you can look at the entire paper. And now I'm just gonna go, yep, so we've got sort of this shoulder here, which looks slightly different. Might bring that in a bit. Now, the great thing about this is that you don't really need an eraser straight away. So I've gone and sort of drawn my neck area. And now I might just slightly elongate my neck. Now, in real life, I don't have a long neck, but in the world of painting, anything is possible, including long necks. So I'm just going to do a line there. I'm gonna use a slightly heavier hand and then just take it back, up. Now, notice I've got my pinky in my mouth because I'm thinking of adding some grills to this. So I'm just going to draw just a suggestive shape of a pinky. Doesn't really have to be one. We'll have a bit of a play around later. Yeah. And again, notice I haven't touched an eraser yet, even though it's not perfect. Just because you can go back and forth, um, be light handed. Great. Now I'm just going to go back and just sharpen this chin area. I'm going to bring this line all the way up to here actually. Extend it a bit. Drawing different angles and different um, perspectives of faces is quite tricky because this isn't head on. Um, my eyes are actually looking down at the camera. So you've sort of got to be a bit patient with yourself when sketching. Now, like I mentioned before, I'm just blocking out 
the main shapes. Now I'm going to just quickly scribble the ear. It's probably uh, just about just after that cut right there and probably up to about here. All right. So I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to complete the photo, the, the sketch, because I want to now make sure that my eyes and my nose are proportionate. We want to figure out where these eyes are going to go. So for that, I'm going to look at the major points. The, from, so from my forehead, you know, quite a big forehead, I'm just going to assume, so these are my cheekbones, so I'm just going to draw a line here, and you'll see artists draw these lines of references, which is a really great idea, but I'm just going to put a triangle up here. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I want to remind myself that it's angled. So it's not front on, like I said. So there's that. So that's our triangle. I now want to go to the left of it. Yep, I've got some space here. So I just put in that, that feature. Yep. We are going to go on a quick break. I'm going to be working on this and I will see you guys back soon. everyone, welcome back to iHeartArt on Channel 31. My name is Turbil, also known as Doxa, and before we went on break, I was showing you guys my self-portrait, um, just the reference photo over here. And so what we've done so far is sketch the reference photo onto this A3 piece of oil paper, just using a regular pencil. During the break, I finished the sketches, I put some final detailing in, and now we're just gonna begin painting. So if you look over here at the my table, I've got pre-mixed paints, and because the image is based on my own hues, my own skin tones, I've mixed some browns. So they all vary in shades. And we're gonna go in with the lightest shade. It's always good to go from light to dark. Never start with your dark colors, because um, it's, it's very, very hard to, to mix in white into a dark shade. So what I'm gonna do is literally cover all the skin I can see. Um, and don't be scared to to cover because you can still see the the sketches under i already mentioned before that having linseed oil is so good to mix in your paints with because it just glides on easily now i'm just going to slightly avoid the lip area, it's not really a big deal if you get some on there, because we'll be fixing it up later. I wanna hit all these angles, cheekbone area with some of this brown. The colors that I've mixed in is brown, some black, and um, sort of a mustardy yellow. So that's what's going on. and around the hairline. Now looking at my reference image, we've got some light just in this middle section here, just there, and then over here, and then in this corner, and then obviously here, and then just where I've put these circles, just to remind myself. I'm going a bit light-handed around the edges because those aren't necessarily light areas. That's where I'll pack some more brown and the darker colors as you get closer to my ear. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'll just pop some more of this brown just to help transition into the darker colors later. Cool, it's looking rough. You gotta trust the process. So now I'm just gonna slap the tiniest bit just around 
my neck area and maybe just a bit here. Now I said I was going to put it all over the whole thing, but because I've put so much oil, I think I'm just going to go in with some brown. At this stage, towards the edges, you do want to start emphasizing those shapes because now we've, we're actually working with paint. You want to be a bit more careful than with the pencil. I was saying just to, to be a bit more freeform with a pencil. But now that we've got some paint on our brush, you do just want to be a bit more delicate and just bear in mind that the paint's a bit more permanent. There we go. I'm going to put the tiniest bit just on my ears, just to remind myself again that this is a light area. And voila, what we're going to do next, I'm just going to pop this brush aside. We're not done with that brush. Let me just pop it here. I'm going to grab a new brush. I'm just going to flick it a little bit just to loosen up the bristles. And then I'm going to grab some brown. Now, because of my flaxseed oil problem, and the fact that I use too much, I'm gonna transfer some brown from this little tub here, just here, just to get a bit more control over how much I put on. And then I'm going to go over my darker areas. So like I said before, this is a bit more permanent. So I get a nice angled brush. This one's nice and pointy and sharp. And then this is where you can lean forward a bit and really begin to draw out those lines and get some definition, almost like I'm sketching it again, but just with the paintbrush. Again, just to remind myself and just so I know where that is. And yeah, like that. I'm gonna get some more brown and I'm gonna come right in with that. So right in here. All of that's gonna be brown, all of it. Yep. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that for a while. Yep. And if you are like me, you've used too much paint, you can borrow from other areas um, and just slap it on. So like that. I'm just gonna drag it out a bit. And the reason I'm not changing brushes is because the hues aren't that different. And again, that oil makes it nice and malleable. So we can sort of get a nice blend going. Right, I'm just gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna take in this lighter color all the way to the insides like that. Amazing. So the brows are just here. So I'm just gonna get a tiny bit of that and just do a, a block like that, just block that out. Amazing. Cool, 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 cool. All right, now I'm leaving the eyes. So I'm not gonna paint over those eyes quite yet. I'm gonna leave them till Lost. Let's just have a look. Okay, we're going pretty well. I'm just going to take that brown, do a nice little transfer, make sure I don't have too much, and then I'm just going to go in on the neck area. Yep, so what we did before was we put a small amount of that lighter color 
just to help us transition so we can get some nice depth going. Um, to make it look a bit more realistic, we don't want it to look two dimensional. We really want it to be, not realism, but you know, not a stick figure. Okay. So it's better to work with smaller brushes initially, um, unless you're doing a huge piece, um, only because you don't want to do some big sweeps and make, make a mistake. I was going to get a bigger brush, but because I've put so much flaxseed oil, that would have been an accident, and we don't want accidents today. And this is the fun bit. We can just sort of, you know, just do you. Just go along with it, have some fun. The oil is very shiny, which is fine. I love painting with oil paints because of the finish. It looks incredible and it just makes everyone a professional artist. So oil paints are definitely my favorite. Um, however, at the moment, I've done a few acrylic pieces. Um, and acrylic is nice, nice and easy to control. All right, so we are gonna go on a quick break and when we come back, we're gonna finish painting this lovely face. See you soon. Welcome back everyone. You are watching I Heart Art on Channel 31 with your girl Turbil, aka Doxa. When we went on break, before we went on break, we were just putting some oil paint on the self-portrait that we started. And so we're gonna jump right back into it with our deeper brown and we're gonna keep painting the skin area. So that's just what we're gonna do. And as you can see, the oil paint is still super malleable. Um, which again is fantastic. So if you make any mistakes, um, you can just slap a cloth with some linseed and just, just wipe it out and then just go over it again. So that initial mustard and this brown have blended really well together, which is fantastic. Now I'm going to go up to the ear area and I'm just going to use the pointy end of this brush to really get in there. You just have to be careful because I did add a detail or a few details. I just added this earring because the other week I was looking for an earring that looked like this but I couldn't find one. And so I thought, you know what, if I can't get it in real life, I feel like my self-portrait deserves this. So I've slapped the fattest like earring, fattest, juiciest gold earring. We love that. So I want to be very careful in not mixing any of this brown in there because I want it to be quite bright. Let's get some oil. Oh, got some oil in my hair. All right, and now I'm just going to clean up my edges like so because when I do my background, um, it's going to be a very bold block color. I'm thinking maybe a teal, love a teal, or maybe a pink. I don't know. We will decide when we get there. But to help myself, I'm gonna make sure that I'm cleaning up these lines, especially around the edges. And then the next few lines I'm gonna clean up just around this lip area. Make sure that this is nice and dark because there's sort of a shadow that's created there. So we wanna drag that all the way down the bottom like that and then I sort of want to just 
remove some of that brown. I have a tendency just to work with a few brushes. Um, I just don't like constantly changing brushes and I also don't like cleaning brushes. So I'm gonna take that same brush, I've just cleaned off that dark, darker brown and I'm gonna just borrow some of that lighter brown from wherever and just pop it, maybe I could just drag it from here and just pop it in these areas that aren't painted yet. It's still super easy to drag this paint along super cooperative, great stuff. Linseed oil, get around it. But maybe use some sort of measuring device because I just winged it with my eye and that's why my portrait's very oily. Yep, so we're just cleaning up these edges. Wonderful. I'm just gonna remove some of that and you might get some flyaways. There's some flyaway stuff in here but I'm just gonna Take it off with my brush. Awesome. And then we're just gonna fill in these, these areas that aren't painted. Again, I'm just gonna leave some of that brow unpainted. I'm gonna take this as far as I can as it's drying as well. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of this mustard again. Yellowy, caramelly, or caramel, if you're American. I painted that other nostril, which it doesn't really matter because for all our dark areas, it's going to be dark. So like I said, it doesn't really matter. So the paint is setting just a bit more. I can feel just a bit of, not tension, but it's just getting a bit harder to drag along. So if you need some more, you can grab some some more. Now I won't finish this painting in this sitting. So next time I'll be back and we are going to fill in some details. We're gonna do the hair and we're also gonna decide on a background color. I'm feeling teal, some lilac, some lavender. I feel like those are all the same things but it's neither here nor there. Oh, I'm just going to do some of that. It's really awesome because you can work in layers. So once this layer dries, you can slap on a few more layers if you want. You can leave it like that if you like that look. But I'm thinking I'll do some more work on it, add a few more layers. I am going to go in. I'm going to clean this brush and I'm going to go in with our darkest shade, which is almost black. Clean this off. It's not quite black, but it is very dark. So I'm going to take a tiny bit and just pop it in the middle of my paint palette. And just get a, a tint of it just to test out what it looks like. You know, you don't want to be too overconfident with this. Just tiniest bit, be humble, be humble guys. And I'm just going to go in with this corner. And I'm just going to see how we go. Do I like it? I do, very subtle. Linseed oil, I'm telling you. It's amazing. It's very, very subtle. Now I'm just going to go with a bit more. It's just creating some depth. And I'm also sort of creating the illusion of some like little baby hair situation thing. So that when we paint the hair, we can just go in with some black and add some highlights and that'll be it. So this method of creating the illusion of a hairline or just adding some black or just doing some very short strokes makes it super easy when we're doing these quick paint sessions. So now I'm just going to take a bit more and I feel like I'm going to do a very sharp line on the jaws. Take it from the top to the bottom. There we go. So we're just taking it down still, 
I'm just going over this a bit more. Yeah, so this will need to dry before I add any details. And I'm definitely detail oriented. As you can tell, I added some grills, I added a nail, couldn't help myself. Added that juicy earring right there. So I won't finish all of this this episode. In the second episode, we will be completing it, adding some more details, maybe adding a lilac, purple background. Don't know yet, but it's been incredible. You've been watching I Heart Art on channel 31 with your girl Thurbil, also known as Doxa. I'll see you guys next time.